Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Govan Gautama. Today's video is all about um, facial palsy and it's my add-on video, it's the second video onto um, the facial palsy exercises I did and this one is all about facial massage. So those two things combined uh, helped me to get my face back. So you've got to watch both of them so all of this makes sense. I'll hit the link um, and the card so you can see that, um, so the video's added on there for you so you can watch that. Um, okay, so I'm going to quickly get into that um, so you can see what I did. So, um, oh, please remember, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. Um, you have to get your own medical advice and I'm just showing you what I did personally to get myself better and you can see how my face is now. Uh, the before and after videos on the other clip if you want to watch that. Um, right, here we go. So, uh, quite random one to start off with, um, cup. I actually was uh, drinking tea and um, I actually found the warmth of the cup really helped. It wasn't too boiling hot or too cold, like hot water bottle is way too hot. But once my tea got into a temperature which I found really pleasant, I would gently just start to press it on my face and it would like warm up my face, so just like a warm up to exercise, I would gently use it because it, it's like a good kind of like shape as well, just to warm up all my face nicely. So it was just sort of almost like preparing it for the massage. And everyone always says, like, you know, if you get the body warm before exercise or massage, it feels even nicer. So I just sort of go around there, you can see how I'm doing it. And there, once, I don't do that for about, you know, a couple of minutes, and then once it was all sort of nice and warm where I wanted it, I would get into my first uh, massage technique. So I would go for two fingers there, and just start there. See, see work my way jaw, up with the jaw, and then going down in circle technique. One way for help all the blood circulation there, going round, and I go down to the chin, here, then close to the lips, and then above the lips, there, then here. i have never touched the eye, but I'd go quite close to it, there, because remember I had those eye issues as well, um, and then forehead. And I don't think, there's nothing wrong with doing this both sides. Um, at the time, I only did one side, um, obviously, but now actually I still do facial massage from time to time, and I do both sides actually. So there, you can see, just generally going around nicely, all with that circle. And then to finish, right, so that technique's finished, and then I would just sort of swipe up and down to like, say, acknowledge that one's done, that one's done. And taking away any tension as well from that swipe. Then second one I would do is like, Three fingers, little pinch and move on, little pinch and move on, little pinch and move on. So just very lightly, just a little pinch and a tiny little twist there, just to try and stimulate everything, get all the muscles excited, um, like that. And again, oh, it, does, it, just, it feels quite nice now to be honest. It's all just very pleasant as well. Okay, um, so forehead's a bit more difficult there, you can see. Um, but yeah, just light pinch and move on, not too hard, that one, just a little gentle one. And then once that's finished, then swipe and move on. So I'm zooming through these guys, okay, so not to bore you too much, but um, I spent a little bit more time on this than sort of 10 to 15 minutes a day um, as well. And then the last one, I had two fingers and slight little tap. There, so going from top to bottom, there, see that one? Again, avoiding the eye, just going down. So a lot of this, this massage technique is used a lot for other stuff on like the back and things like that. Again, just try and help get the muscle excited, stimulate it, there, from top to bottom. There, up and down. Again, it feels quite nice and pleasant. And obviously when your face is like not working and it's half half not there, you don't feel it as much, okay? Um, but then when it starts to come back, you obviously start to feel it a bit more. 
So you can see sort of how I've been working it there. can go from side, side to side, there, up and down. Once I've finished, then just finish off with a nice little swipe again, up and down. That's done. Ah, oh, lovely. That feels pretty cool. That feels nice. And then, again, end with my teacup there. Again, so it'd be nice, nice and warm temperature. Hot water bottle is way too hot, so it's just kind of like a nice medium warmth there just to end, so almost like a cool down if you like. So yeah, we've kind of done a warm up, midsection cool down, mini workout, and then yeah, so that just feels really nice there. Warming that muscle. And then that was it, and then that's ended, and that's what I would do. So I would do that along with my facial exercises, so make sure you see that video. And something I actually do now for more my yoga training when I give myself um, a facial massage or a head massage, I'll show you quickly a couple of things. Um, one was, um, so I didn't do this at the time, I kind of do this now, is I'll get, go through the temple there, those temple, those points, two fingers, and I'll just do circle technique 10 times one way and 10 times the other way. Um, and this is really good just to sort of relax, relieve stress and, um, and anxiety. Um, and it's just because it's a good pressure point, that temple there. And it's a good way just to relax it. Not too hard, but not too soft, easy. Find that place for you. And then I'll sort of work my way down across the head there. I never ma massage anywhere close to where I actually had the operation and stuff like that at the time. For me, I, I don't know what people do. I never had acupuncture or anything like that. Um, I just left it alone and let it naturally heal for about um, six months, all this area. I didn't touch it. And then after that, yeah, I start to rub it a little bit and give it a little bit of a rub. Um, once I was like confident enough to do that. And again, yeah, now I do. I'm a long way off that at operation, um, so now I do. So yeah, I do that. And then also a really good pressure point in terms of like yoga and stuff is that mid section between the eyebrows. I'm not going to make this video too long, but I, you can use a thumb there or two fingers, but you hold that pressure point there at the center. And again, not too hard, too soft, but for about 10 seconds on, you can do that three times, closing your eyes, and then relax, and then breathing really nice and gentle, and it's <coughs> theoretically just meant to help reduce headaches and things like that. Um, so that was also quite a nice, nice one I do now from time to time um, to help me relax. Guys, I hope you found that video useful. Um, please sub hit the sub subscribe button and the thumbs up, all that stuff and um, watch the other video to make sure it all links in and makes sense and I'll see you next time. Thank you!